The Sorcerer Supreme himself is coming to Marvel Studios She-Hulk. That's right, it's officially been confirmed by the MCU themselves that he is a part of the main cast. For how long, we don't really know. Well, if you've been itching to get more Benedict Wong in the MCU, looks like Marvel Studios has listened and um, they're going to deliver. Officially revealing some details in regards to She-Hulk, along with, of course, the poster and the trailer, they released the official synopsis for it, which is short to say the least, but it gives us some interesting details and at least an episode count. So it says, and I quote, The nine-episode series welcomes a host of MCU vets, including Mark Ruffalo as Smart Hulk, Tim Roth as Emil Blomsky, aka The Abomination, and Benedict Wong as Wong. Now again, I think we can all assume that we know the type of role that Wong is going to play in this, since the last time we saw him with any of these characters would be him and Abomination having a relationship, and we can directly see that the containment chamber that the Abomination is being held in in She-Hulk is the same one that we saw in Shang-Chi. So again, the connected piece of tissue is there, and I'm also willing to bet that this also gives us an idea of when the series takes place, and it's probably along the lines and same time frame as Shang-Chi, but also not going past Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So they can kind of still hold off on that being the furthest along in the timeline so far in terms of what we're seeing. Now again, it's going to take a while and we're going to see if any of that has an effect on anything in the MCU proper and what happens next. But to me, I think this is kind of one of those things that we all expected. The moment we saw Abomination in Shang-Chi and their friendship, we were like, okay, this kind of makes sense. Now, of course, it was never mentioned if Wong leaves Spider-Man No Way Home to like rehabilitate him or whatever and why it's never brought up in Doctor Strange. So maybe it all happens after this, or after the events of Doctor Strange and Spider-Man, but again, probably not because the whole multiversal thing, but hey, who really knows? All we care about at this point is that Wong is in it, we're going to see the Sorcerer Supreme, he's probably going to do something that involves magic, I'm guessing for one or two fights, and then he'll be gone. Kind of like Hulk himself, I assume they're just extended supportive roles and this is a She-Hulk show at its core still.